I guess winter ain't over. You got a wet clave. It's on the wrong side of the fence. Bon appetit. As you folks know, if you watched the last video, today's a big day. We're selling a lot of cattle. Three pot loads coming, which is a semi-trailer that holds cattle. So we gotta get some stuff done quick before they show up. It's dark outside, but the sun will be coming up soon. Looks like we got two new calves out here. I brought a tube with me. We'll shoot them up. All right, so first one, I'll text Dad. 944 bull. All right, girl, she's a little more vocal. Maybe she's all talk, but you don't want no one touching. She say not that cheap. Next one's also a bull. Two nice bulls in here. I didn't even look at what the first one was in the other building. Anyway, it's pretty nice in this barn, so let's uh, keep rolling. So there was just another cow walking around, had stuff starting to hang out. So I threw her in the barn. Uh, that's gonna be confusing when I get back. There's might be three untagged calves and five mamas in there. It's about 7.10. Trucks will be showing up in about 20 minutes. Song of the Day is by the Beatles, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. That's a mouthful. Yeah. Yeah. We got the best trucker in the world right there. Morning. Morning. <laughs> A lot of people are missing you on the videos, Uncle Jeff. Are they? Yep. About every other comment, where's Uncle Jeff? I mean, Haven't seen him in a while. I'm, I'm around. I'm just, uh, <laughs> I'm just uh, being camera shy, I guess. <laughs> oh, golly. Hey, 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 hey. First truck is loaded and took off. I'm going to fill this one. There's another one coming down the road. I'm going to actually head back, and we got a lot more chores left to do at home and probably a cow cabin. You bet. Truck number two let it up. Truck number three is here. It's a mess in here. But that girl we put in, she calved. Just right there, so I'm glad I did that before I left. Otherwise that would be a cold calf. So we'll shoot it up some optimizer scour gel. As long as the cow don't take me out. Cool beans. I got that brand new one separated and the other new pairs are paired up. If they don't know who their calf is and we come in here and there's five without tags, we ain't gonna know. But anyway, pretty good. Keep rolling. Hi. Hey. Yep. 
That one I put in the barn calved. It's in a separate pen, so that's nice. It's got the tube. You put it in the back? Yeah, I put it in the back. It was after it calved or before? Yeah, after. Between the cattle that Jeff and I have, it wasn't quite enough for us to get a, another cattle pot coming. So I'll probably be back over there helping Dad and Jeff load those up. Right now I think we're going to take a couple calves and then probably kick some cows out of the barn so they can eat and drink. So after we tagged those couple of calves in the white building, we kicked all the moms out except that brand new one. Got her left in the corner with her calf, and so I'll have to bucket feed her, get her some water. I got three pairs in the new barn that'll need six buckets of feed. Back to Uncle Jeff's to help load trailers. Oh, that's a hectic morning. But things are going good. We're getting a lot of calves done. Um, and I think we got one heifer right next to the barn here that she's holding her tail up. She'll probably be calving later today. Whew. Big money, no whammy. <laughs> we got some nice big calves here, Coley. I think we'll get a premium on that one. Number 69. Uh oh. Alrighty, Uncle Jeff said if I can get these calves up in here, switch some gates so the cows can drink, he can handle it. He can load them up by himself. Cold sparkling water. Bon appetit. Every bovine is fed, watered, every calf is tagged and optimized, and all that before 11 o'clock, hauling out over dang near 300. All right, and I think there is one heifer that's working on calving. She, I don't think anything's sticking out yet, so it's gonna be a while. I got that payloader plugged in. It's really coming down. We've probably got almost two inches already, and I think they're talking about getting maybe five. It's supposed to snow most of the day, so I'm sure by the end of the day we'll be pushing a little snow with the payloader. But anyway, I got things pretty much taken care of. I'm going to sit down for five minutes and then get back to it. That one girl's got a water bag out, and there's another one standing next to her with her tail up, sniffing the ground. They just keep calving. According to the calf catcher, we got about... Well, I'd say to eight inches. That's plenty. So I just looked out there in the heifer that was just kind of sniffing around with its tail up. It's got legs sticking out of her now. And then the one with the water bag, she hasn't progressed much.
I looked at it and I could see that bag was over its head. So we got her out. We'll get her in the barn and then that other one's still got legs sticking out of it. Save that for later, I guess. That's the fourth bowl today. And he's fighting. That scream is my clave. She had it. <laughs> That's not intimidating. I think it's a warning. Don't you touch my clave. Get up. Get. All that before lunch, it's a good day. We just emptied quite a bit of feedlot space, but man, we're filling it up just as fast as they left with these brand new calves. 12.10, I'm gonna check on the cows once more, make sure none of them are calving. Then I'm gonna go in, eat some chicken boob. Take a 15 minute break, maybe. Well, there's one cow with something hanging out of her. But you know, so many have calved that I'm forgetting numbers. So she might, uh, her calf might be in the barn. I don't remember. I'll have to look in the book. Otherwise, we're gonna have a cow cabin here pretty soon. Take a look in the 2023 Claves book. 041 is who we're looking for. No, she is not calved. Well, she's gonna be. I'm gonna get some lunch, go out there. She's gonna have a calf. This is an incredible day. Y'all see the Hereford's calf that calved two days ago? Pretty cute. That cow really hasn't started calving. She's just got a little dangly going on back there. What I do know is the snow is gonna kinda go away for a little bit. And so we'll be wanting to push snow pretty soon. So I'm gonna take this bucket off and put the snow pusher on. back in. Yep. And that girl with the little stangly hanging out, she wants in too. I kind of didn't want to put her in there because there's a lot of calves in there. Cows will get confused. They'll be like, hmm, maybe I already calved. One of these is mine. But she's a cow and not a heifer. This ain't her first time, so hopefully she doesn't get confused. Now at least I won't have to drag her calf into the building. Is that number six or seven? I don't even remember. I don't even remember. One forty-one bowl. They've all been bowls. It's crazy. If that cow back there's got a calf with her, I might have to start drinking. Hey, I don't know what you're doing, but quit it. Oh, she's got a big bag, 031. Oh, she's got to go in the barn, that's for sure. She's going to be calving tonight. All right, it's 2.30. Dad said there's two more people ahead of us on the list, so our cattle are going to be selling pretty soon. And that girl's got a big old bag, and she needs to go in the barn. Dad should be home in about an hour and a half after the sale, and then we'll be able to get her in. And if she calves, I'll just put the calf in the sled and lead her up, whatever way it works. But she, she needs to get in sometime. Ah, shucks. Come out here to move some snow and that, oh, oh yeah. And I reckon that cow that I said needs the in just calved out in the snow. All right, well, I guess we're getting the sled. I'm guessing our cattle are gonna sell right as I'm doing this. So we're probably gonna miss out on it, but you know, there's a calf laying in the snowbank, so I better go grab it. So as we know, we got tons of critters in there. But well, we got a couple open individual pens in here, so I'm gonna bring that cow over to this barn. Hopefully she follows the sled. You're a little angry, ain't you? 
Oh! I'm here to help. Ah! I can do that too. She's like five pounds. Here we go. What a good mom. I know, I know. Almost there. That's like a 50 pound cat. That might be even maybe in the 40s. Does your mom have another twin in her? Oh, you are tiny. That one was a heifer, but that calf is so tiny, she's got to be having twins in her. This is one of the most fun days I've ever had. Just tons of calving, you know, we got, we had barn space and so we, and we still got a little more, so I'm having a good time. I'm going to go make sure she didn't spit out a twin before I pulled her up, but our, our cattle still haven't sold, but they're getting really close. These are dads. Pretty good, ain't able to get three drives of them. Showing three drives of them, folks. Black flash, black pads, watch them in. Reload. Look pretty nice in the ring, don't they? 728 in that drive, show you one more load. That is a lot of beef. There's that at 800 and high up. 186 on it. Water. There are home ring steppers right here now. Everything done you can do to one board worm. They report them here a while back. Uh, Brian, with these, have had an implant in them. All right, so these are my steers. 787 pounds. So I think all my steers are sold. Bring in the heifers. Ooh, they look fancy. You got the heifers here, guaranteed open, no implants, home range, home range, get a little heifer, 75, 800, 801, they weigh more than the steers. That's me. All right, now they're selling Jeffs. Yep, Sonny, yes, sir. Yep, Sonny, 9,000, 6,000. This is that outfit right there. You like John Deere machinery? They got about everything you could imagine right there. If you need a good Angus bull, Brian, you got some good black Angus purebred bulls to say you do. Thanks, you guys. The high end of my steers sold for $1,483 a piece. There was nine of them. Um, and then the high end of my heifers, weighing 801 pounds, they sold for just under $1,400 a head. And there was 11 of, in that cut. Total, I sold 31. My heifers sold really well, I think. And the grand total for all my cattle sold, my one big check of the year to live off of, was a whopping $43,363. But that's before they take some commission. And uh, last year, my check for, I believe, the same amount of cattle was 32000 You can see how much the markets went up. Across 31 head, I got an extra $10,000 pretty much. So that's pretty cool. Well, that tiny calf is standing. She hasn't spit out another one, so maybe she doesn't have a twin in her. Anyway, like I said, that was a really fun day. Tons of calving going on. I'm sure we'll get some more tonight. Dad's on his way back with some checks. I hope you enjoyed this video, because if you didn't, I don't know what more I can do. I can't create a better day than that. That was, we had calving outside, we had calving inside. I was yanking on one, laying on the ground. That's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Hope you hit that subscribe button. Love to see you next time. Have a good one. Well, we sold some cattle so we can spend it on diesel moving snow.